This is my <coughs> Robbie's allotment vlog for Saturday 9th of September 2017. Um, not been very well last, last few days, so I've taken it easy today, just um, harvesting really. Uh, this is what my pool corner looks like now. See, the pond's missed pretty massive, isn't it? The table. <laughs> you know, <coughs> yeah, definitely been playing. There is three little fish. Um, I'm not going to assume it's too much. I put some pond clearer in. I did see one of my bright orange fish this morning um, eating the weeds there because of the leet on that. So at least one of them's still alive because I've seen him. <laughs> God knows. In fact, so I saw a shadow then. I was going to zoom in. Hopefully, I can show you a fish one week. But I did see one of them this morning. But yeah, it's looking really good that corner, isn't it? Uh, I love it. Mm. So today, <coughs> what I've harvested today, I've got this uh, pretty big cabbage here, look. So I've got one big cabbage. Yeah, I'll take the bag now. There you go, look. That's a beauty, beauty cabbage. Uh, I've got a few peas and yellow beans in the bag. In this bag, I put a mixture of alpine strawberries, yellow raspberries, and normal raspberries. And that bag, it's not blackberries, I think the Logan berries. Uh, I've got three corn and cob there. Um, and I've got some little parsnips, some purple haze carrots. Purple haze carrots I've put in that bag and in there lettuce and spring onions <coughs> in this bag here I'll show you look at that bad boy look at that leak so that's one of the leaks today and um, that's fat and chunky and this one's a nice long one so I've got a mixture of nice leaks there and <coughs> I've actually this is the size of this next bag there that's all the runner beans I've picked today and Given some away, so the good harvest again. So I'll just quickly look down. Part. And this one is weeding, but uh, there is some beetroot in there, some late sown beetroot. Next bed is um, I've got some yellow beans, picked them today. <coughs> so you just see them there, some more coming. And that side of it is uh, some peas. These pods are coming, so hopefully we'll get some peas. That's what's left of some of the spring cabbages from this year. Still harvesting them. These are baby sweet corn. These don't appear to have done anything. I can't even see any pods coming. I think I put them in too late, to be honest. So, let's see, they might do something, I doubt it. So peas are doing brill there. That's where normal raspberries. Under the cage is some sprouts, they're doing well. Uh, some early purple broccoli here. And then some spinach that's gone to seed. And the side of it, what have I got on the label? I've got broccoli carrot F2, but I think that's that one. I'm pretty certain that's my, um, what do they call them now? Cross between, Kalets, cross between kale and sprouts. Uh, here I've got what's left of the beetroot. I've been harvesting some of that and I've put the side of it some yellow beetroot um, so hopefully keep us going throughout uh, here we've got all the turnips doing really well um, when I'm feeling a bit better I'm going to just uh, rotate that section there um, and get a, um, a row of swede in the ready to go in but as I say, I'm not well enough to do it be doing digging uh, now we've got the Swiss chard that's a winter squash these are, um, apples aren't quite ready yet, these are uh, Jonah Golds. Um, I'm eating one off a tree, but they're not quite there yet. But there's a few to come. The other beans, bloody lums, hundreds of them. <laughs> still still coming. Um, there, got me some more beetroot for um, hopefully be ready to come through winter. Um, that's lettuces under there, so I need to start thinking about sowing my um, winter lettuce soon. I've got an autumn variety. 
can't be bothered to walk out at the corner today, but um, I'm going to go in there. I've got the parsnips and carrots. So walk over to this section. And the herbs, these need weeding. We'll be feeling better soon and crack on with these. That's um, a winter kale. Well, it must be a summer kale, but it's my kale. That's what's left of the tomatoes there. Um, another row of sprouts, another row of kale. This path here. Decide what I'm going to do because that plot here I understand is coming available. I am thinking of taking it on this autumn. Um, I've got a greenhouse there, so if I skew that inside, I have to have a word with him because I don't want him to take it down again. I'm going to it. I'm going to get rid of all these blackberries in the middle as well. We need a bit more space here. That's a Russian red kale. Looks like it. That's ready to be honest. Yeah, if you look in there, so it's one of the mist. One of the first jobs I do if I do take that on is clearing what's in there. Some spinach, some more sprouts. This is the corner of the cob here, so this is bed needs to be sorted out next week. I might, might spray some weed killer on it, aren't we? Uh, see the corner of the cobs on here, still got some more coming. See them in the, the, still got some more, so they're ready. Okay, that's there. Uh... Oh, I've got a broccoli come. Where's that come from? Is that ready then? Oh, I've never seen broccoli like that before. I've never grown it. Maybe a bit of netting on it or something. Caterpillars will enjoy it, won't they? <laughs> Coming out the other ones as well, look. That little sprouts of broccoli, what's coming? Coming on the hole. Look that. I have to get some research done on these then. I don't know how big they get. I've never seen them like that. <laughs> and then here we've got the leeks. And the cabbages. As I say, that's the plot of the side I'm thinking of taking on. Just make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> and that's me for today.